Hi guys, few weeks back I'd been to a village near Malvan, Konkan region in the state of Maharashtra on my Royal Enfield Classic 350. Rear brakes on the bike failed, repair shops were closed due to a fair celebration in the area. I managed to reach home and I replaced the brake shoes. Here's the brake shoe replacement procedure. Place the bike on its center stand. Ensure the rear wheel is lifted off the ground by placing a suitable wedge under the center stand legs. Like I've placed a wooden piece under the center stand. As you can see the rear brakes are not engaging. Inside the box you have a pair of replacement springs and brake shoes. Disconnect the brake operating rod from the cam lever by turning the 13mm brake nut counterclockwise. Mark the position of the chain adjuster button on both the left and right hand side chain adjuster. Also ensure the marking is equal on both the sides of the chain adjuster. Remove the 24mm spindle nut or axle nut from the rear hub spindle, turning counterclockwise on the right hand side of the bike. Use a screwdriver or a suitable rod to lock the wheel spindle on the left hand side of the wheel. Gently tap the wheel spindle on the right hand side. Pull out the spindle with the chain adjuster and remove the spacer from the left hand side. Ensure that you don't drop the wheel collar from the left hand side of the wheel. Gently slide out the rear wheel. As the center stand is placed on a suitable wedge, the wheel will easily come off. Remove the 30 mm nut from the hub spindle. Remove the 19 mm cover plate anchor nut from the chain stay. Clean everything thoroughly. Broken spring.
Brakes failed because both the brake shoe springs were broken. Check the state of the springs. Sand the inner side of the sprocket drum with sandpaper and clean thoroughly. Apply grease on this area. Many a times you might have heard a squeaking sound. It eliminates the sound by application of grease. Apply grease on the springs. Grease the short spindle hub, springs, brake cam, wheel collar, etc. Don't forget to put this washer. Put back the washer and the 19mm cover plate anchor nut to the chain stay. Put back the right hand chain adjuster followed by the 30mm sprocket nut. I have remarked because the old marking had gone off. So the position of the chain adjuster button with the stopper has marked previously. Before putting the spacer, ensure that the wheel collar is properly seated into the left side of the wheel. Put in the spacer followed by the spindle with the chain adjuster.
turn the adjuster cams on both the sides till 25 to 30 mm chain slackness is achieved. Check and ensure that the number of notches from the punch marks on the cam to the notch resting on the pin are equal on both the sides. On this bike the marking is between 6 and 7. Fasten the 24mm spindle or axle nut. Connect the brake operating rod to the cam lever fastening the 13mm nut. Turn in or out the adjuster nut at the brake rod end. The recommended brake travel is 20 to 30 mm. Check for free rotation of the rear wheel. Check and tighten all nuts. Hope this video is of help to you. Please subscribe, like, share and don't forget to hit the bell icon. More videos coming your way. Right safe guys.